Day six dawns with some much different weather, but I'm back after the whitefish in the morning and then switch gears to fish some heavy cover pike for the afternoon. So it was a really good day of fishing, so stay tuned. and I gotta go find a coat but anyways uh, I went to bed in shorts and in hoodie basically and uh, yeah it's freezing now it's really changed quite gray I think we are going to get some rain maybe. so I'm gonna have to find all the rain gear and break out my coat because it's cold but generally this kind of weather is good for fishing so hopefully so oh, just gotta get some coffee. Oh, light's bad. Gotta get some coffee and eggs and stuff into me, make some lunch, because I don't want to come back until much later today. So hopefully we have a good day. We'll see how we do. a good one finally on the board for today it took a while to get started but I got one little tiny ice jig go get some That's a good one. Look at that. That's a nice fish. Lots of fun. So I'm going to take a break from the whitefish for a bit. Um, I got a couple and I lost a couple. It hasn't been fantastic so I thought oh, I'm going to change gears a bit. I'm going to come into there's a lot of flooded timber in these back bays and weedy bays and I'm going to try and catch some pike on a spinnerbait so we'll see how that goes. So there's this flooded stump field and where I'm catching these pike, or attempting to catch these pike. 
that's full of down timber, like full of it everywhere. Great habitat for pike, hard to get them out, but that's half the challenge, right? That was ridiculous. Little guy. I pulled it out of the water and he took a swipe at it, so I dropped it right back down and he ate it right away. Not a big one, but still fun. That guy got me wound up. Nice little fish. He hit like crazy. I saw him blow up, boil on top and eat it, and then dove right into that muck. I had a hard time getting him out, but there he is. Skinny guy, he's hungry. So we decided to take a break and throw a spinner bait around in some of these little weedy bays and this flooded timber and so far so good getting a few fish. I don't expect to get any real big ones but they're still fun. They're eating the spinner bait pretty good. So I've been throwing a spinnerbait around and I caught quite a few pike on it today and even with the CL fishing spinnerbait they do bend and warp and turn into pretzels that time so I just want to show you what to do because if you start casting it again it's going to run all crooked or flip around and you have to tune it again every time so when it gets all bent out of shape like this one eh, it's not too bad but here let's say let's say it ends up looking like that don't worry I know a guy it's okay but anyways, um, 
you just want to get everything back in line nice and straight. So I usually start with the bottom wire and just get it in line with the hook. Make sure it's nice in line with the hook there. So nice and straight. And then the top, you want to bring it back and bring that around. Just get everything lined up nice and straight again. And if you do that, it'll run true again. So instead of coming back, doing loops and circles and everything. So there, nice and straight. Get it all back together nice and straight. And then it should run nice and straight again. And then hopefully you'll catch another big pike that turns it into a pretzel again. So anyways, here's a little tip for you. Had a lot of fun catching those pike, but now it's time to head back to camp and make some dinner, which is going to be that walleye that I kept last night. Looking forward to that. So that little walleye I caught last night, we supper tonight, and baby the potatoes. So there's the finished product. It's a little bit of a pig out, but I haven't actually cooked in a couple days, so I'm looking forward to a hot meal. And that walleye is going to be so good. So dinner's done and dishes are done and everything's ready except for it started to rain. So I had to hang out here for a little bit. I didn't have to, but um, it's kind of let up a little bit now. So I'm going out. It's still pretty gray. Still could rain some more, but well, it's only an hour before dark and I'm not going to sit around camp doing nothing. So I'm going to go catch some walleyes, I think. That's the plan anyways. It's cold. I don't know if you can see the stair steps there, like boom, 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 how it comes down here. That's the drop off. Now we're coming up. It should start to go down again. So we're coming up on top. There, it's starting to go down. This is where I need to be. So there's my little island, ready to get at them. So hopefully we can get some wallies in the boat in this last hour. So. so it's raining again. A couple minutes ago, this seemed like a really good idea. Now it's just cold and wet, so, but I'm sticking it out. I'm gonna catch a fish here. So I called it, no walleyes, just got wet and cold, but hey, I had to give it a try anyway, so back to camp, have some snacks, and get a lot of sleep tonight, it'll be nice. Anyways, not a bad day, I'll recap it on shore. Well I gave it a try, no walleyes, it was a, a short night and uh, it got really wet, but no fish, so time for some snacks and an early night. So. It was a really good day. I caught whitefish, I caught pike. I had a pretty decent day on the pike for sure. Got some more whitefish, and uh, I was gonna go trout fishing tonight, but then the rain canceled that. So I may try and go to a little inland lake brook trout fishing tomorrow. But uh, all in all, another good day. I'll just go get dried out, and uh, you have to take the good with the bad with the weather, and I've had some pretty incredible weather so far. So one few hours of rain here is not the end of the world. So anyways, pretty good day, and we'll get back at it tomorrow.